Hey everyone, welcome back to another Kevin's Creations here on Geektopia Island. This is Kevin. I'm Cardwell. And today we're playing a new, or we're gonna go over a new cluster deck that's just Melgus, our boy. He's He was uh, asked for by one of our fans, so we're gonna see what we can do. Uh, but before we get into it guys, we just remind you that we do have a Patreon. The link will be down below. Go check it out. It really just takes an extra dollar to give us some love and support. We'd greatly appreciate it. Also, down below, go check out the link for our Force, Force Will Grimoire, FOW Grimoire. It is our new app that we put out for deck builder, card database, pretty much anything Force Will that you want to look up on the go, you can go check it out. Uh, it's, it's really simple to use. We've been using it ever since we've made it for all of our decks, all of our building. It's made my life much easier, so if you're ever about and about, you can check out Force Will stuff. Yeah, and even people like me, I use it as well to the great decks. And of course, just to let you know, it is because of the Patreon uh, over the year or so that we were able to put money back into the community with this app. So go check it out, and then we'll delve into the Fire Force. Yes. So, Melgus is the ruler, and it's got Stranger 10. <clears throat> he is the uh, Alice Origins 1 starter deck uh, ruler, and he's got Judgment of Red, Red, and Black, and then Energize Red and Black. So pretty standard on the new rulers that do that. When a fire regalia enters the field under your control, choose one. If the regalia is Leviathan, you choose up to two instead. Choose a card from the stranger deck at random and put it in your hand. This card does 500 damage to target player or J resonator. Put a 7 100 fire warrior into resonator with swiftness into the field. At the end of the turn it dies and, get, or, and or get a stranger from the stranger deck and put it in your hand at random. So anytime you get Leviathan, you get two of those. Most often than not, you're going to be like, make a dude, get a stranger. Yeah. Or whatever. Or even Judgment for Zero. Yeah. Yeah, and the last one, yeah, he is Judgment for Zero. He's super good. He really is really strong because he's super just like, hey, you're going to die really quickly. Yeah, exactly. Uh, his Judgment side is a 10-10 First Strike. Enter. You choose a card from your Stranger deck at random and put it into the field. So you get a free Stranger. And then God's Art is a red and a black Banisher Resonator. Then you draw two cards, choose a card from your Stranger deck at random and put it into the field. Yeah. So you lose it, dude, yes, but in the same regard, you can just be like, cool, make a 7-1, swing with it. It's going to die at the end of turn anyway. Judgment, God's art, don't care. Psych this dude, go for it, yeah. And then by that potential, you can actually just win that turn yeah. immediately, depending on what strangers that you can get. For yeah, sure. there's all kinds of stuff you can get, so it's it's pretty wild the way he does things. Oh, yeah. So the strangers we have, they're mostly just red, um, but we have Regulus, the king of Volcano. He has two red and one for a 10-10 of swiftness. Whenever this card is dealt damage, it deals that much damage to your opponent. Yeah. So he just is free damage. If he gets blocked, cool. You take whatever he's blocked by. Uh, next up is Red Wizard. It is one red for a 6-6. Six, six, enter. This card deals 600 damage to each resonator your opponent controls. And you'll see why this dude's in here in a little bit. Because he's really comboy with another card. And it's yep. pretty awesome. Uh, next we have the new one, Fafner. He is two black and a red and one for a 12-12 dragon with flying. Okay. Enter, choose odd or even, destroy all other resonators with total cost matching your choice. And zero is even. So he can help you clear the board however you want, but he does kill your own dudes, so just know that. Yeah. Uh, next is Ku Chulane, the hero in a far land. He's two red and black for 10 10 with first strike and bane. This card gains swiftness and precision as long as your life is under 2000. Whenever this card attacks, your opponent discards a card. This dude gets nuts if, he, if, if you're low life. And he's just, he's, he's a really strong good. dude for three mana to have first strike and, and bane. bane is really, really strong. Yeah, one of the, the best combination to ever have because you yeah. just strike, you can go into anyone and just win every battle. And the final stranger of the deck is Azazel, the Blazing Charger, a red and a black for a 7 7. Resonators you control gain swiftness. And then whatever resonator you control is put into a graveyard from the field. This card does 200 damage to target player and or J resonator. And uh, you pay a red, target J resonator, can, you must attack or block this turn. So, this dude's got dual purpose. Yes, he gives your dudes swiftness, which is the best part. And then the second one in this deck is you get to deal extra free damage because you kill all your dudes a lot. Yeah. And you get free damage on him. <laughs> take, take two. And with uh, Chilean, he's even better because then it's like, hey red, oh, this J roller that you have flipped, he has to block. And then you swung him with first strike bane. Yeah. And you just dominate that way. All right, the first one, the first resonator we have is Wounded Black Dragon. It's a black and a red, 10-10 flying, which is amazing. This card, when this card is dealt damage, banish it, meh. When this card is put in the graveyard from the field, put target sword art from your graveyard into your hand. 
and the fact that this guy is just a neutral and not a rare this guy it's insane this yeah this good. dude's pretty strong yeah he can die really easily and in but. this deck you're gonna have him die really easily but you get free cards back like that's his purpose sure if you get to hit for 10 you're like cool i'll take take 10 damage yeah. and then do you have a flyer hopefully on <laughs> yeah. turn one or two? Yeah, I was like, if you don't, you get to hit for 10 and then you can kill him yourself and get a sword art when you need it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, next is the Mad Pyromancer. He is a red and a black with a 6-4 with quick cast. Enter, destroy all damaged resonators. Yeah. I, that dude's awesome. That guy's great. He kills the board because if they just block like little dudes or whatever, or you deal lots of damage with Red Wizard. So you're like, hey, cool, Red Wizard, kill your board for three mana. Thanks. I, it seems pretty good. The next one is Heroic Spear the Bell Severia. It's a one and a red. It's a six six. Remove this card from your hand from the game and deals 200 damage to target Resonator which also can go with Mad Pyromancer. Like that big dude for four mana he's dead. For free. For free yeah. Because it's it's only two mana then because he you just remove him from your hand. You're oh like, yeah oh, he cool. removes. You take yeah, yeah. two and then you kill him with the other guy. Yeah, exactly. Uh, this other guy works man, with the Mad Pyromancer as well, Exorcist of Serto. He is a red, black, and one for an 8-8. Eight, eight. You pay four life. This card does 200 damage to each J Resonator. So yes, he's gonna kill himself with Mad Pyromancer, but if it kills their 6-6s six or their 12-12s or whatever they have, yeah, yeah. it's worth it. All their, all their big boys for sure. Next one is the Elemental of the Demon Sword. It's red, red, and black. It's a 12-1, but why? It has swift, swiftness and precision. So at the end of turn, banish this card. So simple as that. But when this card is put in the graveyard from the field, choose a card from your stranger deck at random and put it in your hand, which is what you want. And then rest a recovered card named Leviathan. You control, put this card from the graveyard into the field. If you would leave this field, remove it in the game instead. So at any time you can just like, you want to take 12 again? All right, let's do this. Yeah. Yeah, this dude's super strong because you play him for three mana, swing for 12. They take their 12, he dies, and you can tap the Leviathan to play it again. Yeah. Be like, hey, take 12. Take 12. Uh, the first spell we got of the deck is one of the new ones. It's the Road to the Fire King. He is one red for an addition, and it enters. If your ruler is Melgus, choose a card from your stranger deck at random and put it in your hand. And then J Resonators, you control gain Pierce. So essentially, all your dudes deal extra damage over them. So you're just like, yeah. cool, I take, you take whatever's left. Yeah. Uh, Sanguine Arena, it's one red, <clears throat> it's an addition, so you can tap, this card does 200 damage to each Resonator, play this ability only if you control a Resonator, so therefore you can hopefully do a little mini board wipe yeah. with this as well. Uh, next is Regalia Break, it is one red, quick cast, destroy target Regalia, draw a card, because you're going to need that in yep. this format, because that's all that's running around. If you're not playing Regalias, you're not really playing right now, exactly. that's just how Cluster is. The next one is Demon Flame, it's a one red, quick cast. Choose one, the card deals 500 damage to target Resonator, or destroy target Resonator that was dealt damage this turn. So there you go. That's a lot of just instant death. Yeah. Uh, next is Levitine, which is Melgus's uh, Regalia. Mm -hmm. It is red and a black. Your J ruler gains swiftness. And then tap, produce a red and a black, or two two of those colors. Use them only for God's Arts, Strangers, or Sword Arts. Yep. Simple as that. Next one is Serto the Blazing Volcano. It's one and a red. Uh, players can't cannot gain life, which will really help you out in here. And then whenever a resonator is put in the graveyard from a field, this deals 100 damage to each player. So you're racing. Yeah. yeah you're playing red, so you're not going to care. We're going to see what happens. Yeah. Uh, Bloody Break. It is a red and black quick cast sword art. Uh, it's got Awakening of a red. Destroy target J resonator. If this card is awakened, you get a stranger from a random and put it in your hand. Yeah. So it's just a good creature kill card, and it helps you do a whole lot for the deck. Next one is Awakening the Flame King. That's two red and black quick cast. Choose one, this card deals 800 damage to target player, or target player banishes a Resonator, or this card deals 400 damage to each J Resonator your opponent's controlled. You may put a Fire Resonator, and then dot. You may put a Fire Resonator or a tall cost three or less from your hand onto the field. So, you do all that, and then you get to do put a Resonator on the field. So for three mana, you deal 400 damage to their board, and then this card Freelo puts in the Mad Pyromancer that kills their board. Yeah. That's uh, quick cast. Yeah. Hey, cool. Thanks. Yeah. No, don't do that. And you turn before you swing and kill all your things. And most of these spells that we've talked about are sword arts, so when the wounded dragon dies, you can get them back. Yeah. To do it again. Which is amazing. Uh, and then the final card we have is the last secret sword. It is two red and a black for a sword art. This card deals 1,000 damage to your opponent. 
You banish. You may banish all but one entity you control and discard your hand rather than pay this card's cost. In this deck, you don't want to do that because you have the Leviathan to help you pay for it. Card costs one mana with Leviathan. So yeah. You tap Leviathan don't, don't for two and then have the other. But it is kind of cute because you're like, cool, pay for it one time, let my wounded dragon die, get it back, and then I can use the pay it for free. Yeah. Because you don't care at that point. You're like, cool, if that's free 20 damage, just you're dead. Just, yeah, hopefully you've survived this long. Uh, the stones are really, really, really simple. <laughs> we have uh, Magic Stone of Scorched Bales, which is the red black dual stone. Uh, Ataractes Memoria, which is the semi dual stone. It's yeah. whatever the color of the ruler is, and in this case, it's red black, so we have two different dual stones. Done. And then we have two fire magic stones because that's mostly what the deck is. Black is just extra, the fire is what you mostly need. Overall, though, the deck's gonna be really fun. It, you're not gonna have a board, or your opponent's not gonna have a board the whole time. That's the goal. And uh, you just get there really, really quickly with little dudes. Yep, I like it. Uh, but the deck list will be down below, guys. Go check it out. Also, the link to our grimoire will be down there, so go check that out as well. And we'll see y'all again next time. Goodbye. Later. Also, guys, make sure you hit that like button down below and subscribe to our channel. And then hit that bell for any future notifications that you have for our videos. And we go ahead and give a big uh, thank you to our fans for over the years, especially our Mythic and Above Patreon followers. Uh, thank you, Dwayne Higgs. And thank you, Ryan. Uh, with that, we love you. Thank you for your support.